We want to solve the equation x minus 3 equals 5. Now this is something that presumably if you've uh, tested into this course you know perfectly well how to do. But we're going to do a few of these types of problems before we get into how to apply uh, algebra to specific situations. So let's see if we're going to solve this. Uh, there are basically two operations that we can use. We can add both things to the same side, or I mean to both. We can add the same thing to both sides, or we can multiply both sides by the same thing, as long as the thing we multiply by is non-zero. Now, okay, we add 3 to both sides of this equation so that the negative 3 and the plus 3 give us 0. We get x plus 0 equals 8. And by the 0 property, x equals 8. Okay? We'll say here we add to both sides. And then the zero property. From this step, the zero property gives x equals 8. And I apologize for the alignment there. Simply can't really see what I'm writing. Um, and then th there's our solution. The idea is to get an x that works in the equation. And of course, you can tell just by looking at the numbers that x is going to have to be 8. You didn't need to go through all this to get that. However, this illustrates uh, the basic laws and rules that we're using here. Uh, adding the same quantity to both sides, and if we get uh, a, a 0 on one side by adding two quantities, we can just write the uh, terms of that side without adding the zero because of the zero property, which means that when we add zero we get the same thing. And of course that's something that's been obvious to us for a long time. So that's nothing new to you. Okay, now if we want to solve 4x plus 7 equals 3, uh, we're going to add a negative 7 to both sides. I'm going to write that as addition of a negative 7. And uh, I know you're going to want to just write minus 7 here and minus 7 here. And that's really OK, except minus 7 means you're subtracting from both sides. And usually you are told that you can subtract the same quantity from both sides. And that's absolutely true. OK, you can do that with impunity. Go ahead and do that if you must. But when I talk about these things, I'm going to keep the rules as simple as possible. So let's say I didn't leave myself enough room over here, but I'm going to add negative 7 on both sides to get this. That's an arrow, not a negative sign. That's because I just want to talk about addition and multiplication. I don't want to talk about subtraction. A trivial distinction. Uh, but what I'm illustrating by that again is just that I can talk about two rules and I think maybe we gain a little more sophisticated understanding of what's going on here. If you can't do it with addition and subtraction, you can't do it. Okay, when we do this, and kind of skipping the step where we say, well, this plus 0 equals this, uh, we just say 4x equals 28 because two 7s add up to 0, which added to 4x give us 4x. And 35 added to negative 7 does give us 28. And now we want to multiply both sides by the same thing. What can we multiply by to accomplish the goal that you certainly understand, which is to isolate x. Well, we can multiply by 1 fourth. And 1 fourth of 4 is 1 fourth times 4. And by the associative law, we can regroup it like this. So what we've done is we multiply by one-fourth on both sides. I didn't write the both sides down there. And down here, we uh, regroup by the associative law.
We regroup the one fourth times four x into one fourth times four times x, giving us one times x equals seven by the inverse property of multiplication, one fourth being the multiplicative inverse of four, and that gives us x equals seven by the identity. property of multiplication. I'm not writing these things out. I should write identity property of multiplication. I'm mainly illustrating here that you get used to doing algebra by moving this thing over in that side and changing the sign and dividing by this and multiplying by that. Um, you should really at this level be thinking about the precise laws that you use. We've been through those laws in previous chapters. Um, we should understand how those laws work and why they're important. And we should understand that everything we're doing here is following that set of rules. There's no rule that says you move something over there. Um, the rule is that you can add the same quantity to both sides or you can multiply the same both sides by the same quantity. And there are a couple of other rules. You can square both sides or take a power of both sides as long as you're careful. And we're not going to talk about that. Uh, but we, what we are talking about here is why we want to be sure that we understand what rules we're using.